Okay, this video is to explain how to make contact sheets in Photoshop Creative Suite. Actually, this is Photoshop CS6, but the process is the same. Uh, with Photoshop launched, go to File, and choose Automate, and select Contact Sheet 2. From here, you're going to go to the Source Image dialog box. We want to select an entire folder of pictures. Uh, you can pre-organize your folders in your workflow, or excuse me, pre-organize your pictures in your workflow by separating them into folders, or you can choose individual files to include on your contact sheet by selecting files. We're going to ch choose an entire folder. We're going to select the Choose button and navigate into our pictures and into our walk and shoot photos from class. We are going to include subfolders, although there are none here, and we don't need to group our images by folder, but if we had multiple folders, we could do that by selecting the group images by folders. We want our photos to output, our contact sheet to output, in an 8.5 by 11, so we preset the height and width by 8.5 by 11 inches at a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. All of the other settings uh, can remain. If you'd like your thumbnails to be larger, you can adjust how many thumbnails appear in each column and each row on your page. Uh, you can choose to manually space them or auto space. We're going to leave the dialog box, the checkbox uh, for auto spacing. The file names will be used as captions. If you'd like to uh, include other captions, you can do that at another time. We'll leave ours set to Arial, Regular, and a 12 point font. That lets everybody see what we're doing. We're going to select OK, and Photoshop will proceed to build our contact sheets. Okay, Photoshop has finished building our contact sheets, and you'll notice that each contact sheet appears in a single tab uh, within Photoshop. You can save each page individually, or you can go back and use the automate function to combine them into a single PDF. If you want to save each uh, page individually, you just simply select the tab at the top of Photoshop and go to File and Save As. We're going to combine each of our contact sheets. In this case, we have four pages that we're going to combine into a single PDF document. Go back into the Automate function and choose PDF Presentation. Once the PDF Presentation dialog box opens, it'll give you the option to add all your open files. If all you have open is your contact sheets, go ahead and select Add Open Files. If you have more pages open than just your contact sheets, you can select those additional pages and select Remove uh, from the dialog box. We want to save our, uh, our document as a multi-page document with our background being white. You can adjust that here if you'd like your printout to be different. You can also give it some additional metadata if you so choose. We're going to leave this as is and select Save. And now the PDF presenter will combine our four contact sheets into a single PDF document. We're going to save our PDF document in the My Documents. We're going to call it Contact Sheet 1. And we're saving this as a multi page PDF document. We'll click Save and we'll be given some more options about the quality of our Adobe PDF. If you go to the Adobe PDF preset, you can go to high, from high quality print down to smallest file size. Now, if you want uh, to show these off to a client, you probably want to select high quality print. We just want we just want to look at our entire collection, so we're going to choose smallest file size because we want Adobe to compress our multi-page PDF document into something that's manageable uh, and uh, and sendable via email. If you'd like to view your PDF after saving without having to go into your 
uh, Documents folder and view it. You can click here and Adobe will launch your PDF afterwards. Otherwise, you can come down here and click Save PDF. And the automate function will now save each of those pages as a single PDF document. We go into our Explorer window and into My Documents. Here we have Contact Sheet 1. We'll select it. And Adobe Reader now has a four page contact sheet document. 